All right, uh, we are back to our next year's, and this is lesson uh, next year's project or next year's classes. This is uh, lesson eight. And uh, we are going to discuss these things. Let's pay attention, please. Uh, already, we already have a project that we are working on. Even though it's not the actual project we're going to work on, but then we started using something stood portal under this uh, folder Python Flask. So let me try to open it in the in the IDE file and then open folder. Then I browse the the folder in D drive. So Python flux. This is the folder. Alright. And uh, this is what we have. Let me try to run the application. I'll remove the welcome page. I have open the terminal and I want to run the application. I'm waiting for the terminal to respond. So I want to see what is the content of this. This is the content. CD, I'm changing to this directory. So I've changed to the directory and here I can now run my application by saying npm run I always say this that when you are running when you are running a, when you are doing a development you use npm run day but when you are done and you want to deploy you are going to build it first you build it then you start using it with start npm start all right so it has run and I'm opening it here in the browser let me check my browser yes Sorry, let me remove these. Uh, these are uh, some things. Yes, I want to do away with all this. Yes, it has run. This was our yesterday's project all right so uh, that's very good so this is what we have done right this is what we did last week is it no one is responding hmm. don't worry you respond very soon you start responding <laughs> so it is it is stop whatever you are doing you concentrate first this is how you learn programming what I'm doing and you are doing you are doing nothing but if I'm doing you try to understand what I'm doing okay so that you can reproduce what I've done then you build on top all right so now this is what we have you know there's something I want to let you know that um, bootstrap alone Bootstrap alone cannot really handle the entire styles, styling and beautification of your application. Bootstrap alone cannot. You have to be falling back to CSS and JS. Actually, you have to be doing that. So, now, uh, look at what's happening here. We want to give it a very good color, not only dark or primary, because here, if you check from the IDE, let me do something like this. Uh, uh, this you are seeing on the, as a result of our uh, running of our application, it is from the header class, or header, yes, header file. Is it? It is from here, is it not? Yes, it is. So look at something. We only say a dark for it to give us this dark. 
we can as well give it, uh, we can say primary, and it will give us what? Primary with text light. Yes, it has given us primary, right? Yes, we can as well write success. We can say danger. It will give us what? Danger color. But then what if this is not the color I wanted? Of course, we have to fall back to CSS because if I want something, say, I need yellow, for example. If you write yellow here, it will work. It will not work. But that doesn't mean that you cannot use yellow. You can use yellow, but you have to fall back to what? Yes. To the CSS. So what, 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 what are you styling here? Here you are styling now. This is the tag. What is the, this is class name. What is the class, class name? The name of the class is what? Nabba. So you pick this Nabba and then you remove all this. Remove all of them. Then you go to globals. That's CSS. Come to app. Globals. That means you are defining it here globally. Right? Then you define a class here with this curly brace. I mean, open and close curly braces. Then you do what? We now say background color. Then you give it color you want it. Yeah. Huh? Blue? Somebody says blue. Blue is li uh, like uh, uh, primary, right? Blue is like primary. Yes. So we can, let's give it different color. So maybe you sit down and look for a color you wanted. Yes, yeah, it's there now. Blue. But this is more than primary because primary is not as dark as this. You know? If if you don't know what to choose, you can just hover around here. Hover around the color. It will give you this. So you can go, you can now check on colors, available colors here, and then pick any you want it. And then click out and then save. Then you check from it's there. But the second thing you need to fix. These write-ups are not seen. We are not seeing them. Is it not? Yes, we know see they are not you know and then why is it not covering the entire you know you know not bad supposed to cover I'm not saying that you cannot do this design, you can. There are some applications that are running as it is. But then we want to cover everything. So then you now go back to this is header, this is where you define your header, but then you call the header somewhere, right? So you go to uh page. Let me see what is there in page. How we have how we have done it? Okay, we only call it as 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 it is like this. So we can define it from here. This we have. Okay, it's here even. It's here. This we have a fluid, right? Oh no 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 no. Okay. Yes. The, let me see if you remove this fluid, what will happen? But you know, if you remove this fluid, okay, no no no. It's inside. It has to be within container. Now let's say div now another D but this uh, should be in page actually but uh, we can as well try it here I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying you know I'm calling it uh, it is to be displayed uh, as a component in another component right so I can uh, the way it is being arranged in uh, as, as a component that's how it will display so let's try using div here and the, the div should be container so I copy everything here. Okay? It should be within what? Within the container. So this before I write this container, let me do some before I write in there. You know this is the content of the header, right? If you save this application now, you won't see any header anymore. The header will not be there. Yes, because I've removed it. Is it? So I want us to test something. Now, if I said this should be a container, if I want to make it container, uh, you can now see class name. Then the class name should be what? Container. Okay? You don't see anything because nothing is there. Alright? For example, 
if 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 maybe I say DJ, I don't know whether this will will work. No, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I want us to understand what is actually happening. This may not. So let me just paste container, right? Let me paste everything within the container and see. Can you see? It's there. So now if I do some touches on this container, now container flute. All right. Actually, as we have did it, uh, we, we have done it yesterday, it, we, we were able to solve this problem from the pitch section. It is the pitch section that will, uh, you know, extend this to, to cover everything. That's what we did yesterday. I was just trying to see if we can do it from header as well. So let me undo all that I have done. Yes, I will remove this. And it is as it is, right? So you come to page, please, come to page. Then within this, okay, I already, I already have this. So I can now see container or fluid. It's already a container. Can you see? Container fluid has covered up everything. Is it? But there is this uh, margin top, okay, margin top. Right. Let me see here. Now, all right. Let's continue. So now these things, these how features and the rest, they are supposed not to be here. They are supposed to be pushed to the right side. All right. Is it not? Yes, so, come to, and before then, we need to color them like so we can see what's happening there. So where are the the class here is not bar and the class here container not bar brand yes the not bar brand what is not bar brand this this that I've written this is the not bar brand which is this so if I want to work on this I, I have to pick this to the CSS come here that number brand is it there may be color color of the text what white, white. yes can you see if you don't know if you, if you are afraid of using these classes you can create your own custom class here you can just come to header create your own custom class you can just Give it a space and give it. You can just say B M M brand. But while giving custom custom uh, custom classes, you should you should avoid using classes that are existing, built-in classes of CSS of uh, Bootstrap. All right. So if you use this, you can pick this M brand and make use of it. It's not a problem. But since it is being defined, you can do same. So now, or not only this, this one should also do same. It should also, uh, same thing should be applied, right? So come here, come here. Uh, this is button. This button is what toggles between uh, uh, width of the devices. So come over here. Okay, this collapse. And here I have features, right? I have features, pricing, and all that. So what is the class? This is nab link, right? Uh, so pick the class as it is here come to globals since it is something wide you can just say comma and paste it here that means something should be applied is it not? yes save it is it saving? all right Come, come to the header again. This is link, right? Nab link. And they are under this div, right? So nab, nab bar, nab bar nab, right? Let me pick this also. Uh, 
and I will see comma and this again. Let me check. Nab link disabled. In fact, I don't even need this disabled. Remove it. Disabled should be removed. This also should be white. Color. What's happening? It's not changing. Try to push those things uh, to the right uh, uh, until like this is this is like weak something. I don't know the source of these. Uh, uh, uh -huh, this is this is bootstrap. Let me see nab nab bar. I don't think if uh, if it is for uh, for version five. Like the, 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 the Where? In, in the global. In the global, I don't know right dot. Yeah, yeah. The it's there. Unless it's good enough for those. Okay, as a class. Yeah. Okay, let me just do something. Let me create for each. No, for the I just put the command end dot link. Just add. The less the less lead will be enough and collapse. Let us leave. Huh? Let us leave now the now and okay, I don't see the collapse. Let me see. Okay, it's coming up. Even for the collapse it's not even uh let me see the collapse. There is no even need for the collapse, so the collapse is going to be background, because this is the collapse, right? Yeah. It's going to be background. But then uh, Bootstrap 5 is not working, okay, 5.3 is not working like 5. I think in 5 you don't need to do this dot 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 dot, it's just comma, if I'm not mistaken. And then let's, let's check what's happening here in the... In the why is future okay? Home is not coming up, right? Home is not getting the yes, there is this active, right? Uh, but it's supposed not to be. Let me see. Okay, because it's having this active, uh, that's active of. Uh, so let's let's move it that way. That means you can play around the active and all that. You can give it different color, right? When it is active, right? Yes. You can just see when it is active. It should be something. Say, the color should be something different. Let's say something like uh, yellow or something. So when it is active, maybe it turns to that. And now you see, oh, oh, okay. I know something, something weird is happening here. 
Please, let's, let, we shouldn't waste time here. Uh, let me run this other application. There's something I've done here. Maybe we check some other things here. Where is header? Header is not here. Header, I want us to use this as a, something we're going to implement. Is here okay? Please let's see how this application runs. Uh, <coughs> CD NPM run run dev. While it is running, let's look into the globals here. This is how I've done it. I picked the number text, number brand, and the number link. Actually, uh, the okay, yeah, I, I recall. Sometimes you need to say important for it to 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 be applied to all. Like in this case. Sorry, before it finishes, like in, in this case, here, remove the where is it? Okay, do away with this uh, active. If you add in something here, important, think uh, to pick. I don't know why Bootstrap did this actually. Sometimes, if if you if you give in, if you give kind of something from the globals, it will not appear. It will be effective until when you say important. Then it will pick everything and uh, and it will work. Please let's let's look at this. Look at how I've organized this with logo here and the logo. I created the logo myself. Logo of the company. Something, something is uh, happening here. Actually, there's something I removed. That's why there is there's supposed to be an image here. So I don't know whether the the image is not loaded. And then so okay, images are not coming up here. I don't know what's happening. Let me see, am I connected? Uh -huh. I'm not connected. I'm not connected. So let me refresh now. Now I'm connected. Like the light is, is, is gone, right? It is now inverted. Now walk. It will come up. One of the fun day. You know, as you are developing these days, you need to be connected to internet. Otherwise, all the phones, whatever you are working on, is not going to work as it is here. Now, in my system, uh, before it displays to you, in my system, uh, it's actually working. The the UI is 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 it's okay, and everything is is out. I didn't know that I'm not connect to internet until when I checked. Can you catch up on time?
So please look up here. This is what I was able to do. Uh, we told this. I want us to do this. This this is not bad, right? Is it? Then what is the name of this? This is banner. That's what I wrote here. We call it what? Banner. That's the class name. Then if you want it to be moving, you know this is this is not moving, right? If you want it to be moving, sliding, then that's why we call carousel. I want us to try that as well. Okay? So then before then please let's look at how we are we are able to achieve this distance. This is the code. Okay, Python. This is the code, please. Let me reduce this. And this is the header. Header component. At this collapse, you know, this collapse within the div of the collapse, there are what? Lists, right? List. On other list, right? You have. Then the list itself, li, list one, list two, list three. That's what 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 gives you this. These are lists, one, two, three, and this is exactly what we want to achieve here. So if you check from there, the source code, I added this class ms what auto under the list. So ms auto is the one that will what push it to the other side because it use it auto automatic. That is margin start auto. So uh, you don't check this. Come to header. Come to your collapse under collapse. So you see, this is this is the mistake did here, done here. Instead of us to list them out, then we I continue to use what a a is a link. Uh, but that's not how it's supposed to be. A is a link. But we're supposed to do something like this on other list. That's why I said how I've copied it is not the it's not the correct one. I'm supposed to check from the documentation. The documentation wasn't all that. I think I can just do something instead of me checking and you know, doing all this. Please, some of you, since we are not, uh, you unplug your something because this projectile takes over seventy percent of this solar. So we'll be having this problem of uh, just unplug it from the source. When we are done with the program, then when we are done with the practical session, we then plug it back. Since we are not using the system. The projector takes over 70% of this. So it's only 30% that will be left for the fans and our assistants. So we will see how the class will do something. So please, I think the, the, the best thing to, to do something here, How the best thing is, I think I should... I should do this. This is Python Flux. This uh -huh. So this is what I wanted to do. So if you want to do uh, header, uh, Nabba, please come over here. Can you can you see what we are having here? Just go to the uh, Bootstrap. The Bootstrap. If you take, if you want to come in here, you can just from your from the Google. You can just type uh, Nab. I'm oh, sorry, Bootstrap. Or if you know the URL, you can just say getbootstrap.com. Getbootstrap.com. Or bootstrap from the Google to take you there. So please, when you are here, you can you can just come to the word documentation. Then if you know how to check the component here, you can, if you don't know, you can just say nab, search it here, nab what? Nab bar. So, yes, not bad. So this is it. So these are different types of map bars. Let me pick the ba very basic thing. This is where we do a web development. For you to recall all these things is going to take you time. All right? So what you do is just copy this basic, 
basic map by example, copy it, and then you know take it to your application. Then you tweak it, change the do some kind of touches using CSS, JS, and all that. Okay, so I'm going to copy it here. I've copied. Then let me quickly go to my header here. So I know we are developing for IHR KDSG, right? As our now, so I'm going to remove everything here. I'll remove everything. And I'll paste that. Okay, if you save now and check the result, it's going to give you error. It says, uh, parenthesis express this. That, that, that means you cannot return like this without anything, right? So you paste your lab by here and save. When you save, there's going to be this. For the input, there is going to be error because uh, the HTML of uh, Bootstrap understand it this way without closing the, the the what the tag. So I've closed the tag this way. Then, then for the HR as well, there is going to be I think similar error here. Where is HR? Uh, HR. I will close it here. Then I think we are done with the errors. Okay, no error. So save it and check from the result. Can you see? In fact, there are many of them are not even coming up. They are there, but they are very faint. Very, very faint, faint, faint. Oh? So then you start doing your work here. Are we there? Then this is the time, this is where we said that we can test. Instead of saying BG body, we now say BG what? BG dark, right? Huh? You know, Anything, any CSS written in, any CSS you write here, uh, any attribute you write here, it supersedes the one in this global CSS. You know, in the globals, we are not having black here. Uh, but I think like the black here is, is, is good. <laughs> is it good? It's not, it's not, right? So let me remove this. You know, in the CSS, we have called this map bar and we are giving it color, right? So now when I say, can you see? Huh? Are we there? Yes. yes. So come back to the CS here. If you want to change this color, just uh, just uh, change it from here. You can modify it right from here. Maybe this, what do you call this color? Dark purple, right? Yes, something like this. Let's go with, let's go with this. For now, I don't need this. I don't need this, uh, what is it? Sasha, I don't need it. I don't want it for now. If I want, I can, I can bring it back or create another in a row where I, I put the search. So, what I do is to go back to the header and remove it. This is where the search begins. The search starts from here, where? Here. From flex. But then, the even the disable, I don't need the disable, but let me start with this one. I want to remove this form. I will save. We will check. It's not there, right? Yes. Then, then these things, these, these write-offs, that's the, uh, our, our project. This is where I want us to start developing. Yes. Can you recall this application? Yes, this is where I want us to start. So I'm going to use this logo. I'll paste, you know, work on the logo today. And then maybe and on other other things uh, that we may follow. So here I will have to write the name of the this is what we call brand brand name Br that is name of the app plus the logo and whatever the logo can come first or late or the logo comes either later before the the name of the brand. So please check from here. Come up here. It's very simple. The CSS is now that the uh, bootstrap um, HTML things are not hard, so please come over here. We say brand what brand brand lab, uh, brand uh, number brand. brand. So this is it, right? This is it. So when I change the name here, I said IHR IHR KDSG. Then I save. Then it to it to pick it, all right? So then now, uh, for right from home, right from where, right from home, 
these are our list items. Actually, the the the, the, the formal number I used was I think I uh, it wasn't the correct thing I'm supposed to pick. So here, let's start. Do of course home should be there, but then inside a link, I'll correct that right now. This ah it will work, but we have our own link in messages. Okay, so you convert it to what link. Okay, and the link comes from where? Next.js. If I click, it will do what? It will import it here for us. Okay, so come here to link, and this should be link as well. Closing tag, link and link. Are we there? Then, of course, href is also link. I mean, link also use href. No problem. Okay, so but then home is always slash, right? Yes. This slash like this it means home. So then the next thing is what? Another nav bar item, right? Nav item. You know, these things are items. These are I this is the nav bar brand. These are the nav bar items, right? Yes. So here next, uh, what is it? Class href. Okay, this is oh, oh where am I? Okay, link. Okay, first link. What do we? What? what what's going to be our other menus? Uh, let's say enrollment. That is top enrollment, right? Enrollment. So can you see enrollment is there, right? Yes. This drop down. I don't need this drop down for now. So this is what we do in Bootstrap. You pick the example from Bootstrap. Remove out all that you don't need at the moment. Work with what, what is needed. So uh, you don't uh, have things in inside your applications or project that are not needed, really. So this drop down, I don't need it for now, actually. And then the disable as well, I don't need it. So I've collapsed them. So let me remove them from the list. So this is a list now, right? It is a list. So now I'm listening, right? I've listed only one. So I can now copy this list as well for me to come up with other list on other list, right? Copy it as a nav item. Then here I have what? Nav item. The nav item here. Next one, let's say upload uploads. That is document uploads, right? We have it in the application. Document uploads. So, so you know sometimes we don't want to write something like let's just say upload if you want to upload document for a person after enrolling him you come to this link okay this i want us to develop this application here actually it's a project but abandoned project as i told you so maybe after the development we might be lucky to have something maybe the class is somehow let's see i think it will carry the fun now so who can t tell me uh, any other thing i think uh, huh? Class name. Class name. No, you know this. Uh, okay, the name is it's it has misguided you, right? We said stood portal. It's not stood portal. We are going to develop this application. IHR KDSG integrated human resources. Kaduna State Government for the twenty-three local government. We want to capture the entire Kaduna State local government staff. We want to get their their, look at it here. Want to get their biometry, want to get their their pictures. That's why I say document upload. Want to get their what? Uh, everything, document and everything. Then it's going to handle the the staff information, staff record. It's going to handle when staff is due for promotions, when staff is due for uh, retirement. Okay, it's going to handle trainings and all this. This is what we are going to do. Don't worry, I will change the name of the the project actually. Yeah, that's what we are going to do. You know, it's the best thing of learning programming is for you, for you to pick up a project. So let me continue. I now added something here. Let me say uh, promotions. Promotions. Don't worry, I will bring the document. I've written something around 20 or 30 pages, I think, on, on the salaries, accounts. Just see account. Thank you. Ah, a great one. Account. 
Next, we have after this training, after promotions, uh, there is uh, before promotions. There's always uh, an exams, right? Screening. Thank you. Screening. Maybe the arrangement of the the, the menus will be done later. Screening. In fact, there is even employment. That is a uh, what do you call it? Uh, appointments. Uh, or staff for uh, okay, don't worry. I, I it's written. I have the document. So let's say, let's say appointment as you said, or employment rather. Employment. Let me now introduce retirement immediately after employment. It will advise you when to retire. It will send you a message that you are you have just two years for your retirement. Right from five years of retirement, it will be sending you a message. Retirement. But I think we can we can just stop like this. But I know there are a lot of things. Maybe that's the time when we will need uh, drop downs. Okay? We'll be looking for drop downs, I think, drop down functionalities with time. So probably that should be about and facts. Okay? About. About. About the app, right? Then frequently asked questions. Frequently ask what questions? Karen, yes, maybe we'll be answering some questions. But if you look at it, actually, it is it is coming up. It's it's okay. But this from home to facts should be what push to the left right side, is it not? So to do that, come up here. Please, everybody should do this immediately after this class. Everybody should do even more than this, not only this. You should do more than this come up here this is what number this we say meo2 it's instead of ma please make it ms mso2 it will push it for you can you see now things are okay is it not this is what we wanted is it yes so now the next thing is logo let me work on this logo to put in logo please come to the documentation come down so you see, I'm done with this. This is a basic example, very basic example. You can tweak it anyhow you want it. You can do whatever. You can do lot of lot of many things here. Okay. So come down here, brand, text, uh, whatever. Uh -huh. So this is an example of our image. You can place the text within the not bar brand with what? With image. So what happened here? Who can tell me? This is a a a. a, a an anchor, right? Which is a link, right? This link is a number brand. Number brand. What is number brand in our work here? I H R. I H R. K D S D. You know this K D. I just, I just. Uh, that's our number brand, right? We are supposed to write I H R K D S D L G S twenty three. But then I don't want it even. I'll even remove this K D S D. After this project, we're going to. You know, look for for buyers or some can express their interest. IHR, you can you can IHR can IHR uh, integrated human resources Kano state government. So KNSG, Zambia state government. ZR is it ZR or each and every state has its own two two letter words, right? Uh -huh. So like Kasina KT, right? I know this. So. Uh, what was okay logo now so this is this is our brand so we want the logo to appear either before or after the brand please look up here this now this is what huh huh this is the logo so it is an image look at it it is an image but this image this image it's a bootstrap image and it is gotten from internet they have posted it somewhere Okay, 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 no. It is just the, it is just a logo. It's not a URL, it's a logo. It's a logo, look at it, logo.svg, right? It's a logo. Then look at what they have done here. It says start with what? Touch. But I think for our own case, it has to be, it has to be something width and height or something. So the first thing you do, if you want to put in any image into your, into your something, 
please come to the documented I mean come to the well, the come to the project the VS code come over here you see one folder here from what call what public okay you've seen it right public so let me introduce something let me say I'm creating a folder here and the folder's name is what uh, it's a it's a it's a logo for branding so let me say uh, brand brand that brand brand image this is a folder then inside it I put my brand image so let me see this is an image I've opened it let me just make use of it but we cannot use this actually the way it is you have to make so many touches on it a uh, project of course I designed this but then I, will, I just I designed it when I was sending the proposal but maybe I think I will get time to do something on uh, little touches on it okay so then I will make use of this so this is on my what on the desktop I want to push it there I can copy it and paste and I can drag it I think dragging is the most uh, uh, easiest thing Hey, what happened? Hey, Python, yeah, huh? So this, I think this is where I have it. And uh, inside here I have this brand image, right? Yes. Then I can copy, I can drag it and move around here yeah. and I release. I think it has copied from me. Okay, it has copied, uh, but not in, it can copy in another thing. Let me do it again. Hey, what's happening? Why is it not copying mine into my? Let me just copy it. It is in scoop pick, right? This is it, right? Let me copy it and paste it here. Yeah, it is inside where I want it. Let me remove the one in scoop pick. You know, we're doing it step by step for everyone to see how what is happening actually. You can do something better than this. So it has opened because I think it is a uh, PNG. Is it PNG or JPG? It is PNG. It has. It is uh, the IDE was able to open it for us. So that means our picture is okay, right? So let me close it. But before closing, we don't want this kind of room. Okay. Let me just copy this. Uh, I've copied the name, so I don't have issue with the name. So come to the brand. This is the brand, right? Where is it? Uh, home, above. Yes. IHRKDSG. So now here, it should be it should be either before or after. So if if you want to pick, make it before, you do something like this. Sorry, introduce IMG, IMG, IMG. This is the tag that gives you what image, right? IMG, is it not? It comes with source, of course, and then out, is it? And then what? The size. So for now, let's stop here. So this source, this source contains the the source, the the root, the part of the what? part of the picture so the first thing you do is to call the let me do something this is the pictures name right yes, but it will not work if you take if you try it like like this why why because it is inside a folder okay what is the folder's name the folder's name is brand image right so you have to call it slash brand image slash what slash the file can you see? But it is too big. This is on, on, on header and that it has covered everything. <laughs> so what you do, you immediately, immediately you do what? You give it a size. So you can say width. Let's say width of 30. Too small? Only that the picture is not all that you know clear. Alright? 
Yes. And secondly, look at what happened. There is no space in between. Let me let me do this. Can you see what is it? Um, I'm zooming it. Can you see the picture? You can see what's happening, right? So you have to do some touches. Right? You can try doing the touches here. If it is not working, then you go back to globals. This is brand, right? I want to have I want to have a space in between. Uh, yes, I want to have like something very small, something small space here. So you can now introduce padding, maybe margin, margin what? Margin right. Margin right. Yes. MR. MR thirty, for example. Let's see. It's not happening. It's not. You said? Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Should be inside class. Okay. I thought it's. I'm already in the class. So margin right. Let me see. Let me see margin right five. It's not happening, right? So let's try padding. Let me say padding at across all the sides. Let me say PX, right? PX, X axis. Huh? X axis five. Please for newcomers, you need to you need to look at okay. So this one works better. It is too it's too wide. Uh -huh. Can you see? Uh, in fact, it's even yes, I think margin okay, let me say zero. Let me see. Zero means no margin. Okay. So I think uh, there's no need for margin all the sides. It should be margin right. One. Please, for those who, who just started coming, you know, attending this class, should try to see people who have been here. Let me see margin right. Margin X. Okay, margin X works, right? So there is there is now gap between. I think it works, but there is need for us to this the shape might not be what we wanted. Okay, please check from Bootstrap. We have what we call we have what we call a uh, shadow. Can you see shadow? It's a small shadow, regular shadow. Okay. Like I think this shadow. Uh, what's happening? I did not close this. So, close my data. Let me check for version five point one. I want to get shadow from there. And for this, sizing or boxing. If you want to get what we're talking of, the margin right, margin top, margin whatever, you come to what they call what? Spacing. Um, let me check on, let me check border please, not shadow. Border, it's border, it's border. I'm looking for, not shadow. What's happening with my connection? Like I'm not connected anymore. Uh -huh. It's border I'm looking for, and this is border. Please look up here. Can you see border here? We have class border. Class border, when you say class border top, it will give you only border at the top here. Uh -huh. Class border, what? 
Brother end to give you at the end here. Left, right, and uh, whatever. So let, let me just try, try brother, and see, and I'm, I'm trying it on what? Uh, on the image, because I want it surrounded a bit. So after merging top one, I can now say what? Brother? Yes, I think border is there. Only that the thickness of the border is not up to what is needed. So this is now another thing we can we can we go through. And this is the thickness of the border. Can you see how the borders are? The first one is primary. So if you write border, border, primary, border, border. When you say border, you are telling booster that I will need border, but. If you repeat border, then you have to give it color. Color of, I want to specify the color of the border, all right? So I want it border. I need something like coming up, uh, coming out something. And then we have even border opacity and all this. I think I can go with either of these borders so it can surround the picture for me, right? Let me take this last one. It is border what? Border white. No, it's not white. This is not white. Border white, there will be nothing. Okay, border before border white, right? Border black, is it? So look at what's happening actually. Here, when I say border, here, let me close this. Here, I said what? Border. But when I repeat border, that means I'm trying to specify kind of border color. Thank you. So border black. Then you check. Can you see? It is now. To run with the. Uh, for the border. Maybe red. Red? Yeah, red. No, but then border shouldn't be all that. Anyway, okay, you want to see, you want to, you want to see how red is going to look like? No, uh, So is it but is it running with the background color? No, background color. What else? What else? You want it like this? Is it okay? Yes. It's okay by you, right? Okay. All right. Then the next thing is, let's look at this. To be honest, there is no margin here. Is it not? But it's two way back to the. To the edge of the page and here also it is it is what close to the edge of the page so how do you fix this huh? yes in the page it's that fluid if you introduce fluid but not fluid in the inside the page fluid inside the lab bar links look at it let me take the picture of this first so you know what what we're doing We are not even, we haven't finished. That's why I told you, you are design, UI design. People are saying UI design is nothing. I was also, there was a time I'm saying UI design is nothing, but actually, if you look at it now, UI design is not, it's something, right? Uh, so please come over here. Can you see, this is our lab bar, right? Then inside it, we have this. So remove this fluid. So you have what? Margin. Can you see? It is now better because you have margin from the two sides, left and right. Maybe you will not see what happened. That's why I made this copy. Look at how it was. This is how it was. Right? That's covered everywhere. And now look at it. Huh? Yes. So I think this is a cool, you know, number. Actually, as a web developer, I suppose not to be looking for UI. Unless if maybe maybe you cannot handle something. I don't know really. Yes. So, we should be able to be designing UI using Bootstrap from scratch or you pick their, you know, whatever. And There's something, there's something around these, uh, uh, um, what is it? Border. This is the width, right? 
if you want to increase the width, thickness of the border, thickness, width of the border, then you specify. When I say border, I need border. Then border dash black, I need border black, right? Color. Then when I say border dash and number, I need the thickness of the border to be what? Oh, yes, anything, anything you want it. That's why I don't want it to be somehow something that comes out like this. Let's let's check from here. We can now see where is the border here. This is border, right? Yes, we have specified that we need border here, and we have color of the border here. So you can now just see border, border, border two, for example. Can you see how thickness? So border one. So it was one before. By default, it was one. It was one. So it's okay. Now let's take. I think there's last one last thing I want to show you here. I have. Sometimes you could you could need uh, uh, what we call round corners, right? Mm -hmm. Round corners. Look at round corners here. Round corner. Maybe when you say round corner, uh, round when you say round it, it is it is what it is. This first one. Yes, the radius of the corners. Then down the top, you have only top rounded, but the bottom is what flat, flat, right? Then the rounded end, rounded end, and rounded bottom. Rounded end, look at it. Ends, the two ends here. Then rounded bottom. Then rounded what? Start. The the right side, right? Rounded start. Then now, rounded cycle. It will cycle it. Then rounded what? Pin. It will give you something like ellipse. Let me go by rounded cycle, for example. So radius. Rounded what? Cycle. I want us to finish everything regarding header. We will never treat header again. That's why I'm wasting time here. And you go and do your own design. Go and make your own design different from others. I, I want to see things happening as from tomorrow. So if you like this, then if you don't like it, then you check uh, uh, either rounded, uh, rounded end or rounded. Uh, let's say rounded, rounded what? Rounded start, right? Rounded start. So let's see how it is. You see around it start. You know, if you see this and you don't know how to come about, you you start thinking whether somebody just designed something and, and, and put it there. And so around it start, around it top, around it bottom, all these are there for you. Is it? Yes. So next is what? Huh? Sizes of what? Okay, sizes of the uh, the okay the rounded. Rounded. I think I, I I use this last one in the in the one I've used. Rounded five. So it will give you something. Uh, when you see rounded five. This is virtually okay, I think. But some texts are not being displayed. Uh, it's better we make it rounded start. I think everything for rounded start, everything is out, right? Yes. So it all depends the the work you have at hand and what you wanted to achieve. I think we are done with this. Uh, I think for border, for header, I mean, uh, I think uh, we can see we have done something for header. Only if maybe we want to start doing some things regarding. I think let me just introduce you to the Caruso. Then we stop there. Maybe tomorrow we'll do banner and uh, forms. Banner and form. Then so for Caruso, come to the uh, something here and type in Caruso. This video is like it's lengthy, right? Can you see Caruso? Yes. Huh? This is what we call Caruso. But this one it is sliding but then it's lacking some things if you check here indicators the first one was not having these indicators okay yes 
you check here, captions. There were no captions in this second one. Each and every one has to uh, co come with its own caption, and then crossfade. See, this one is crossfading as it is coming out. Then, uh, which one do you want us to go for? The one with caption and crossfading, right? You can add the crossfading later, even though crossfading is not inside. So let's pick the one with caption, because caption has combined indicators and all that. So this is it. What you do is also pick this. Pick it. If you like, you can make it uh, as a component. If you like, you can as well put it inside your page. Inside the page. You can make it as a component, then call it later. As we have done for header. You can as well, you know they are all components. You can as well put it inside the... So I think we can go for the first one. Let's make it uh, so we can call it anywhere, right? As a component, is it? So come here. Come to the word component. Right click and say what? Another one. New file. What's the name? Caruso? Caruso. 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 The <laughs> So export default function. This is how you write. Export default. Export default function. Caruso. Then you introduce what? Return. Open, close, and terminate. Then what? A div. Before div, I can introduce fragment. Then I introduce what? A div. Is it? Then I will now say H1. I think I should introduce uh, a section. Because it's a section of a piece, right? What's the difference between section? You know, section is a bootstrap something, bootstrap language. And deep is our own, let's just something. So, I can now say H1. This is the Caruso. Caruso what? Caruso page. So, so you come to a page. As it is now, Caruso is not being displayed. Now we're going to remove these columns. This is just our last example. That's why I left it. We we'll remove it. So come here. Uh, in our page, you call Caruso. This is header, right? This is header. Then I call. I call Caruso as a as a component, right? It needs to be imported. So you do this for the import. I think it has imported already. Let's check Caruso. Can you see it has imported from where? Component. Right? And it's true. It's from component, right? So then when you check, can you see it says what? This is the Caruso page. Is it? So that's not what I wanted. I want to see the Caruso I copied from Bootstrap. Okay? So come back to the Caruso. I just want to make sure that the Caruso component is working. That's why I did this. So I will remove this. Then I will paste Caruso. And there's going to be some error messages here. Check the error message. This is image. Then you do what? Uh, yes, I, I forgot to write something about the out. In image, you know, sometimes the email might not be displayed for some reasons. Maybe it's from internet and the link is dead or something, or the file is corrupt or something, right? So when the out is what is going to give you, uh, out gives you the, the text that will be displayed if the image is not being displayed, okay? Maybe we'll start an example later. If the image is not being displayed and you want uh, the user to understand that logo is supposed to be here, then you, write, you can just say logo or something, very simple something. 
So this is the second Keruza or something. Then you pick the and for this we need to have some images actually. We need to have some images. But I think since I have one image there, let me see if I have any image uh, in the system. Sorry, I have an image here. I don't even know what the, this image is. Okay, it's, an, it's, a, it's a logo of a building. It's a, sorry, it's a picture of a building. Can we make use of this pending tomorrow? Yes, we, we get image. So, please, somebody should get us images of uh, uh, human resources applications. Yes, images of human resources applications or something. Or something that can run with these images. I don't know, maybe we can make use of something. All right? You can post it in our group. I can just pick it, push it to my email, and when I come, I'll just bring it. But for, for now, I'm going to use this image too, GPG, JPG. So let me, let me copy it. Please, let's check the, the result of our Caruso. Of course, can you see nothing is there? But can you see some three dots here? Because the image is not being displayed. Okay, so if you want to understand what we, what we are saying, come to the Caruso again. You can now come to Caruso and say, it is, it's not supposed to be dot dot. You can say, Caruso image one. So look at, can you see Caruso image one? Yes. yes. So that means it is unable to display it. So now we want to display it here. I've copied it like this. But this image is under a given folder called school pick, right? So it has to be slash school pick slash what? The something. I'm supposed not to write school pick here actually because this, this is not for school or something. School something. Pick, right? No, it's an it's an absolute uh, something. The addressing is absolute. So I want to see if it is not displayed, then we we'll have to we we'll have to pick it to the public folder. Yes, immediately after this, we'll close the class. After we'll close the quality thing. Please let me. Let me refresh the project. Let me reset my server. You see something gradually, this is how you build application. Don't rush. Just put it in mind that I want to do banner, I mean, or uh, header today. Create your header, perfect it how you want it, then you move to the next remaining part of the components. You have to be moving with either Terrain CSS or Bootstrap. Bootstrap, I think, is easier I don't know whether it's easier or something. Who's rap it is it's easier than Terrain CSS, right? Yes. Something is wrong with the picture. It is under public, but you want us to, to, to call public here? Let me just put it inside public directly. Okay? Then I will remove. But I think I've, I've used that kind of um, addressing. Caruso, I will remove SRC. I mean, scoop it. Yes. It is here. But the picture is not good, and it is too big. The size. the size is too big. So what we do is to give it kind of something we wanted here. The width and the height, maybe. The width should be, let's say, 50 pixels. What am I doing? Should be outside the class, thank you. 
which is an attribute uh, of our uh, image, right? Yes. And class is uh, something different. We have a class of Okay, for us to see what is happening. No, In the class we have a class of Okay, there's already class. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, I've seen it. Okay, they have given it hundred. Oh, yeah. sorry. Block. Hundred. Okay, let's see fifty. The width. Yes. It's working. But then the height is not and the width is it should be more than that. Then we have to introduce some some styling as well. We need to introduce styling for it. I think what we should do is to remove this this stands for display, right? Display block, right? Yeah. So you can remove this. So it will be as uh -huh, this is how it is. Then we we give it a CSS from our no globals. So how do you do that? What is the name of this? This is the class carousel item, right? Yes. yes. If you don't want to go by this, you can add another component here. I can say C dash item. Okay, carousel item. Then maybe later we we'll have to modify even the carousel itself. Carousel item. Look at this is carousel inner, right? That's not where carousel started. So this is carousel item. So let me give it and I give another class here. This is a class D class, right? This is for the item. Let me give another class here. C dash image. Carousel image. I don't know whether you get what I'm saying. I want to I want to format the, the carousel item itself and what? As well as the image. Is it? Yes. So I think let me just do for this one. First. I think this uh okay, no issue. So I've given it name what? Caruso C C item, right? I have C item dash who's underscore I mean put them dot C item. I'm not going to write anything here for now. Then dash C what? IMG. This is my own custom class. I can use the embedded class there, but I want to use my own custom class. So now, what do you think we can do here? For the for this now, we need to have some paddings, right? Yes, I can say margin top. Let me give it something. Margin top five. Five what? Five pixels. Can you see? But I'm not touching the image. Yeah, the image is inside Caruso. It's inside Caruso. So I'm not touching the image. I don't want to temper with the image sizing for now. But I'm doing and this top is not is not enough. Let me give it 25. I think it's somehow now, right? Then the content of this carousel item should have let me let me say uh, align align items what center yes center of the carousel item right is it center of it then now the carousel image Caruso image I should have uh, 
let me see if I can size it to you know there could be things inside the Caruza item one of it is what image so the image I can now say uh, IMG right IMG that's the image all images inside Caruza item should be what should have width of width of what or maximum width if you like the image yes I'm inside the image I want, I want to define it this way that it should, it should have width of let's say 50 let me start with 100 pixels It was 100 pixels then, right? 100 widths, I mean. Uh, let me see height instead of width. I want to get something that will give me what I want. Okay, so then 100%. But like, this is not, it's not even like it's not working. Let me see what I've done in the image, in the something. What are you saying? Okay, okay, yes. I should just give it the size I want it. But it's not it's not doing anything here. Caruso image. Okay, let me say important. Huh? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Where it is residing? Height of C. Let me say 150. Yes, that one is working, but that of the picture is not really coming up. Okay, this should be 100%. You see, you say 100% of the image, right? Yes. The image is not doing anything. I don't know. Uh, actually, my my attention is no, no is no is no more here. We will continue from here tomorrow. So let me let me stop here. Thank you.